Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about not using fertilizers when you're germinating seeds. That means don't put any, and in the past video sometimes I've said, ah, it's okay to do. And it is, but you have to expect this to happen. I'm going to show you examples of all this kind of fungus growth that has happened because I added in either an organic insoluble fertilizer or a process or chemical fertilizer into either the garden soil or the starting mix. So don't add fertilizer into your seed start mixes until your plants have germinated, until they've got to size. You want them to grow and look like this. And these were all grown without fertilizer until the tomatoes got their second set of leaves, until these were a little bit bigger, until they basically germinated. These just got fed not too long ago. Until they germinated, until they established, until they got to their second set of leaves. And you can check out my other videos that talk about second sets of leaves and when you feed them, when you fertilize them. You want them to grow strong as seedlings once they germinate and not have to compete with some of this fungus I'm going to show you. Now, there's two types of fertilizers. They're called insoluble, which means they have to be broken down in some capacity, or soluble, which means the plants can use them right away. Many of your organic products this is bone meal, and you might think, hey, bone meal gives phosphorus. Why don't I put it in here? Phosphorus is good for a root system. That is true. But in your starting mixes, if it's, you know, your seed starting mix like this, or your garden soil over there, there's not enough soil life or time for the soil life to break this down and turn it into a form that's usable for your plants. So all you're doing is giving food for fungus. This is, uh, I think, alfalfa meal and feather meal, another organic product. These pellets, again, are insoluble. It means plants can't use this form of fertilizer until soil life breaks it down. If you put these into your seed start mixes, you're only feeding fungus and insects, too. So, I use a starting mix primarily for my seed starts. I use the garden soil over there for when my plants are established and bigger and I fill these cups up because it's less expensive. There's less risk of your seed start mix to have fungus and insect eggs and stuff in it. And I showed you a video on how I use hot water to pour into the seed starting mix and, you know, sterilize it a bit. The garden soil has more soil life, but also more fungus spores, more problems potential, but you're putting mature plants into it. And mature plants have strong root systems. They're ready to fight off diseases. So let me get to the fungus. So here is an example of using the garden soil as a starting mix. And in there I put, well, let me move this back. I put in some bone meal. And you can see, here's the bone meal. Again, you might think, oh, bone meal is good for root growth. It is, but it's good for mature plants and for your outdoor garden. And you can see after about 10 days, white fungus in different places here. That's from the bone meal. That's the only thing that I added to this. The miracle Grow garden soil has a little bit of chemical fertilizer in there, but it's a really, really low rate that doesn't really seem to affect the fungus growth. And I'll show you an example of that. But this is bone meal. Here is the pellets, again in the garden soil mix, and you can see fungus growth right there, right there, it's white. You know, not a lot, but you don't want your germinating seeds to break through and be on fungus. All funguses, fungi, funguses are not bad. They don't all harm plants, but I can tell you this bone meal stinks to high heaven. These organic fertilizers that got wet and are just, you know, basically molding um, smell terrible. Now here I used a chemical fertilizer. This is in a form of fertilizer that the plant can use, but the plant doesn't need it. And look what happened to this. It's all pitch black, a lot darker. They're all wet. And this is from the chemical fertilizer you know, changing the soil in some way. You know, it could be fungus, could be mold, I don't know. Here is garden soil just put in here with no additives, no chemical fertilizers, no organic fertilizer. You can see, let's break that off, that the color is different. It's not as black on the sides, 
on the top. This is just plain old garden soil, which in that case, you know, can work. Don't add fertilizers to it. Now you might say, okay, well that's all garden soil. Well, here's one of starting mix. That looks really healthy, no growth, no problems, and that's probably been in there about seven days. This was something that was sterilized. Now, you come over here, this is the starting mix, the Jiffy starting mix in here with no problems. This is Jiffy starting mix that is, I don't know, seven to 10 days old, sterilized with hot water, just like this. Probably quarter strength fertilizer in there from this processed fertilizer because I was been feeding my, my bigger plants. And I've been feeding my plants like this from the bottom because they're strong and they're established. That's when you feed them, when they have their second leaves, when they're really, um, not, of course, they're not mature, but they're stronger. They're getting to their second leaves. They're starting to look like the plant and they're just not little baby seedlings anymore. They're still small, but they're strong enough to really manage um, fungus and problems like that. They're not going to get that damping off disease. So... All this white fungus growing in here because I used about a quarter strength processed or chemical fertilizer in here before the seeds even came up. You don't want, the bottom line is, you don't want your germinating seeds that are breaking through the soil to come into contact with fungus. Not all fungus is bad, not all mold, mold is bad, but you can set your starting mixes up to grow mold, to grow fungus by adding in fertilizers that your plants just don't need until they're bigger. Once they get bigger, I'm looking for an example here, you can also notice that in here, there's not a lot of algae or anything like that. Once I start adding, and I'm using um, this fertilizer for my, my seedlings when they get to size. It's a little bit hard to see, but all in here, right along here, that's green, that's an algae growth. And again, the nitrogen from here is now feeding, you know, algae that probably came in through the water and I'm getting algae across the top. However, these plants are bigger. They can handle fungus, mold, algae growing on the top. They do need the fertilizer. They've used up the seed coat at this point. So they're relying on the root system to bring in, in fertilizer. So this video may not be that exciting, but it's really, really important that you understand that adding in insoluble organic fertilizers are going to do nothing but grow mold and fungus in your seed starting mix. Adding a chemical or processed fertilizer in the beginning before the seed germinates and can really use the product, the product's going to be used by mold and fungus. Hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some idea of not to go crazy with the fertilizers before your seeds even germinate. Wait till your seeds, seedlings, or wait till your seeds germinate, and wait till your seedlings are bigger. Then you can start feeding them. This is when they need food, when they look something like this. Tomatoes, when they're about this tall, you know, the broccoli, when it's a little bit smaller. Don't put in the fertilizers early. I can tell you too, as I'm doing this video, that organic fertilizer stinks. I mean, it just smells like decaying, rotting animal carcass, especially, I think that's because the bone meal is, is pig bone. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. This is a great way to have healthier germinating seedlings that won't get damping off disease and will grow into, you know, your stronger transplants. Thanks.